Hey, TV show enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the riveting world of Blood Legacy. Season 1 left us with more questions than answers, especially about the death of Kanye's father, Becky Sizwe and Globu. So, who really killed him? Let's unravel this mystery together. Kanye Adesi, after years of estrangement, returns home to save her family's crumbling business empire, Spear Industries. Directed by Nozifo and Kalemba, Blood Legacy exposes the palace politics within the Ndlovu family. With the mysterious death of Becky, the CEO, everything changes drastically. Initially, Becky's eldest son, Mandler, seemed destined to inherit the throne. But in a shocking twist, Becky names his daughter, Kanye, as the next CEO. This decision comes as a bombshell, especially since Kanye had no interest in the family business and knew her father was corrupt. On the night of the announcement, things get heated. Mandla is furious and Becky storms off to cool down. Moments later, Kanye finds her father in the sugarcane field, soaked in blood. He dies in her arms, leaving everyone to wonder what just happened. Suspicion immediately falls on Mandla due to his strained relationship with Becky. But there were whispers about the A6 crime syndicate too. Becky had recently cut ties with them and this could have been their brutal retaliation. Kanye's ascension to CEO is rocky. Mandler tries to sabotage her at every turn, even involving himself deeper with the A6 gang, which only spirals his life into chaos. From destroying sugarcane farms to setting traps for high-profile targets, Mandler's desperation knows no bounds. The family drama doesn't stop there. Kanye's relationship with Dumi, her childhood love and CFO, complicates as old secrets resurface. But just when you think you figured it out, there's another twist. A journalist uncovers that Becky had transferred a massive sum into an offshore account before his death. This account belongs to none other than Kanye's uncle, Fusi. Kanye and Mandla confront Fusi, leading to shocking revelations. Before long, Fusi frames Kanye, resulting in her arrest. In a dramatic turn of events, Madlamini, Kanye's mother, kills Fusi. The season ends on this explosive cliffhanger, leaving us to wonder what's next for the Ndlovu family and Spear Industries. So who really killed Becky Sizwe Ndlovu? Was it Mandla, A6, or someone else entirely? Will Kanye be able to prove she didn't kill her father as season one end while she just got arrested, hopefully? Season two will give us the answers we need. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And hit that subscribe button for more juicy recaps and theories. See you next time.